only man, as far as we know, who is fighting in consecutive title bouts without this second one being a rematch. He got that opportunity because there are two world bodies, of course, and he fought for the WBC crown against Matthew Saad Muhammad, and then, without having a fight in the meantime, here he is going for the WBA version of the crown. He had been training for two fights in the interim, but they were both postponed, but he is in shape. With us on our boxing coverage today, the undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard, and of course, our own Gil Clancy. Ray, uh, you know both Bonzel Johnson and Michael Spinks from their amateur days when you were coming up headed toward Montreal. What kind of a chance do you give Bonzel? I know them well, Tim, and inactivity is always a factor. I think what Bonzel must do is get right on Michael Spinks, take advantage of him, because in the late rounds, Michael Spinks is so effective. Well, we've seen Michael Spinks before here on CBS en route to his championship. Gil, how do you see it? Well, Spinks has proved he can go the championship dis distance. I give him a big edge in punching power. But Bonzel Johnson, to win this fight, he's going to have to take advantage of his height, his reach, reach, fight a perfect tactical fight, and have something left in the late rounds. That's going to be a big order. Well, it should make for a most interesting light heavyweight championship. We've had nothing but interesting fights in recent weeks in boxing. We're just about set for this light heavyweight championship fight. Judging under the WBA rules will be by three judges at ringside. They are Eva Shane from Fort Lee, New Jersey, Paul Cavalier from Wayne, New Jersey, and Frank Capcino from Philadelphia. The referee who will not score is Larry Hazard from Hillside, New Jersey. The scoring is on the 10-point must system as we see the challenger, Bonzel Johnson, and of course our sometime colleague here on CBS, Angelo Dundee, working in his more normal role today, the corner of one of the outstanding boxers today. The champion Michael Spinks defending his crown for the first time. Scoring on the 10-point must system as we said. Nine points or less to the loser of a round. There can be a, an even round of 10 points apiece. The tail of the tape somewhat interesting as you can see Bonzel Johnson two inches taller. They have the same reach. He's a bigger man in physical appearance. Look at the biceps difference for instance. But of course uh, that doesn't always prove to be a huge advantage. Sugar Ray Leonard was a little bit shorter than uh, Thomas Hearns in Las Vegas and uh, those physical characteristics Gil don't always uh, add up to victory. Now uh, by a fellow being tall doesn't necessarily mean he has an advantage. A shorter guy can fight a smart tactical fight and actually have an advantage when he gets inside. All right for the corner of Michael Spinks uh, some interesting kinds of conditions here. We have Eddie Futch who just arrived from the heavyweight fight last night working the corner of Larry Holmes. He is working the corner here today with Michael Spinks but Michael is actually trained by Nelson Bryson. Also in his corner today will be Percy Richardson a former member of the New Jersey Athletic Commission who is now full time into the boxing business working the corner of Michael Spinks with Angelo Dundee and Bonzel Johnson's corner is Bonzel's trainer Del Williams along with Robert Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest, 15 rounds for the World Boxing Association Light Heavyweight Championship. In this corner, wearing red trunks with white stripe, he weighed in at 174 and a quarter pounds. He hails from Columbus, Ohio, rated number seven in the WBA. His career record, 23, 23 wins, two losses. Here is Bonzel Johnson. Bonzel Johnson. And in, and in the red corner, wearing black trunks, trimmed with white, weighing in at 173 pounds, residing in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He is undefeated as a professional, the current World Boxing Association light heavyweight champion. Here he is, Michael Spinks. Michael Spinks with victories over the likes of Marvin Johnson, Yaki Lopez, and Murray Sutherland en route to the crown. And the relatively inexperienced in terms of the number of fights he's had for the age that he's been a professional, Bonzel Johnson, with victories over Wayne McGee, John Davis, and Hilton Silva. He has not been in against the same caliber competition. You must take a mandatory eight count. If you go down, three knockdowns in one round, the fight is over. You have any questions? Okay, shake hands. Good luck to you. Larry Hazard with a final instructions, and we're about ready to go for championship action. Sugar Bay Leonard, Joe Clancy, and Tim Ryan ringside live from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Michael Spinks circling to the left of your screen in black trunks with white trim. Bonzel Johnson, the challenger in red with white trim. 
Sugar Ray, the one thing we know for sure about Johnson is that he is an outstanding boxer, and he showed that against Matthew Saad Muhammad, and he looked good in the early going against Muhammad. Of course, everybody knows that Matthew's kind of a slow starter. Michael, somewhat the same. What would you do if you were Johnson? I think the key for Bonzel is to constantly use the left jab, which he's doing it now, to dictate the pace, not let Michael Spinks uh, go in and dominate. He must dictate the pace and maintain it. Johnson on the right of your screen. That's right, Tim. In the early going, Johnson's going to have to hit Spinks with a good sharp blow so that, so that Spinks respects him. If he can walk right in on Johnson and get inside, then Johnson's going to be in trouble. Ray, this is a matchup that uh, really has been coming since the time they were both amateurs, and I guess Michael knew that eventually they were going to be meeting. Well, they pretty much anticipated this uh, fight coming up. But one thing I'm noticing, I know it's where Bonzel moves around the ring, and one thing the fans at home should wait for is the fact that the Sphinx brothers have that overhand right. Michael calls his the Sphinx jinx, and he's hurt a lot of people with it. Just stung Johnson with a good left jab there. Dundee told us that Johnson is in twice as good condition as he was for the Matthew Saad Muhammad fight. He has been training for two fights that were postponed or canceled altogether. But nonetheless, as Ray and Gil both pointed out, that inactivity is still a sore spot somewhat in his career. Well, inactivity hurts a fighter because they become a little rusty, the time and the rhythm. A warning from Larry Hazard for holding behind the head. A warning given to Johnson. Under a minute to go in this first round, scheduled for 15 at 175 pounds. Mike is just trying to get the range now. He's trying to bring Johnson within his punching range. And as Ray said, that moving long right hand could be the kind of a punch that can catch a tall guy like Johnson. seconds to go round one. Final seconds of this first round. Round number two of the scheduled 15 round light heavyweight championship. Sugar Ray Leonard, Gil Clancy with Tim Ryan here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Michael Spinks in the black trunks, the champion. Now on the left of your screen. And complaining to Larry Hazard about something. What do you think he was complaining about, Ray? Well, Mike complained about a thumb. And they, and again, uh, the thing about the thumb, they're trying to make, come up with this new glove. The thumbless glove. What do you think about that? Well, it would be something totally new. I don't know how effective it will become. But Mike Hamper is a guy, uh, punching power. Have you tried one yet? Not yet. I like my old gloves. <laughs> yeah, they're working pretty well for you. This is round two of this WBA Light Heavyweight Championship. become stationary and make Michael Spence respect him. So That's far, right, Ray. He's going to have to land a couple of sharp, sharp punches. Otherwise, Mike's going to get that range on him, and it's going to be goodbye. But he, he is a very, very smart fighter, though. He can move side to side. Got nailed. Good combination scored by Spinks. Johnson counterpunched back, but he took the best of the blows from Michael Spinks. for holding and Michael Spinks let him know he didn't like it because he nailed Johnson on the break. Well both had, both guys get good leverage in their punching. I mean they're capable of hurting each other. Good solid left from Spinks. Johnson has been going backwards as Ray noted early in the second round. Oh that's Harmon. Step back. One point step back. There's that overhand right and he threw it on a lead back to the ear of Bonzel Johnson, under a minute to go, round two. Mike Spence has been down to the bottom. This is all 
also going to be the key to slowing Bonzel down, dropping his hands and come up with that right hand. as if Mike Spinks has a big edge in power. Right? If, they, if they go start going punch to punch, I, I, I just think it'll be all Spinks. 11 Johnson. knockouts and 22 victories for Johnson in the magazine. Michael has 11 knockouts and 17 wins. Johnson has to nail Spinks coming in. He has to nail him with a big punch. Spinks now backing up Johnson. Less than 30 seconds to go in this second round. Another overhand right landed. three of the light heavyweight championship Michael Spinks and Von Zell Johnson Angelo Dundee with some advice for Johnson after a good strong round for Spinks. Yeah Angelo said to Johnson you go out and back him up you're gonna have to start backing him up and hurting him. Uh, the thing with Johnson's been doing now he's been trying to punch and get out of the way at the same time and you can't do that you can't punch backing up or very very few guys in history could do that. He does have to start taking chances and do as Angelo says and try to come to Spinks and back him up. Bill Clancy with Sugar Ray Leonard and Kim Ryan. We are live from the Playboy Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Cold, blustery day here in New Jersey. Right hand from Spinks to the ear of Johnson again. Johnson smiled, saying it didn't hurt him. Still edging back, Johnson. You notice that range? He gives up a little bit at a time. A couple inches here, a couple inches there, but he's always edging backwards. Well, Von Zell, he's making the mistake of reaching, waiting for that one big shot. Whereas that Mike is trying to get inside, and put his, and he, once he gets inside, he's very effective because he puts his punches together, he works the body, and back up to the head. Well, that's, what we were, that's what we were talking about. The shorter man doesn't necessarily have to be at a disadvantage. When he gets inside, he can have a big advantage. And Mike has those fast hands. He can put those combinations together. Johnson got his head turned again. Took that right hand from Spinks on the ear once more. Good counterpunch back by Johnson from the right side. I'd like to alert our local stations along the line. It'll be a 30-second station break at the end of this round. He's right in front of Spinks. Under a minute to go. Here in round three. Light heavyweight championship action. Spinks on the attack again, getting a rise from the crowd. But, but you know, it's inside. Michael is so much more effective. seconds to go in the third round. We've got more championship action coming up on Sports Saturday. Next week, Aaron Pryor defends his junior weatherweight crown against second-ranked Juwan Johnson as Spinks. Oh, good right hand from Johnson to the side of the head of Michael Spinks. Final seconds, round three. We'll be back with more of the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship after this word. Now look at the champion, Michael Spinks, making his first title defense. This is round number four against Bonzel Johnson. Spinks has taken the early command in the fight. Quite warm in the ballroom at the Playboy Hotel and maybe seeing a little bit early fatigue. What do you think, Ray? Well, both guys came out winging in a sense. There may be a slight... Uh, there are titles involved, but there's still a great deal of power because they're both in tremendous shape. Toe to toe exchange. Good right hand landed from Spinks. Warning to Michael Spinks to keep the punches up. Lands it with the left hand. Tim, the way these guys are winging, either guy could nail the other. And one big punch at this weight class can turn the fight around. Either guy could get nailed. There's that overhand right you were talking about, Ray, that 
chopping right hand right to the temple of Johnson. What well, a right hand by Mike is starting to get in. There it is again. See, Barzell's moving straight back. Move off those ropes. Under a minute to go, round four. Again, we'd like to alert our local station. We'll have a 30 second station break at the end of this round. Taking a rest now. We've had some bombs thrown early. Oh, that Johnson is cute. Did you see that trick, Ray? <laughs> he extended his left, left arm and threw the right hand. Under 30 seconds to go in the fourth round. Hey, hey, how it, Michael? Step back, Michael. Come on, let's cut it up. We were talking about that inactivity. Johnson's breathing real heavy now. It's only the fourth round. Final seconds of round four. We'll be back with more of this championship bout after this word from your local station. Atlantic City, New Jersey, and have just received word an upset in the making. Kansas State leading Oklahoma 21 to 14 in the third period. Brent Musburger will be along after our fight with a total sports update for you. We'll be keeping a close eye on that one. All right, this is round number five of this WBA light heavyweight championship. The champion Michael Spinks in black. Bonzel Johnson with Angelo Dundee in his corner in the red trunks, and so far the champion has been in command. Jim Ryan with Gil Clancy and Sugar Ray Leonard. Good right hand. Johnson, he can take a punch. He got hit with a left hook at the end of last round. You couldn't get hit with a more perfect punch, and he didn't go. I think the one problem that he's going to have is he's going to be his stamina because he's been taking some shots and winging back himself. Both men have thrown big punches, but Spence punches are a lot cleaner because he's getting through to Bonzel. Well, Bonzel keeps edging back, edging back, and he's punching and sliding back at the same time. He's taking some of the, some of the leverage away from the punch. He's always edging back, 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 until finally goes against the ropes. Here he goes again. Well, Gilangelo told Bonzel not to back away, but to sidestep, slide up and throw a right hand. Well, he's backing, backing up in a straight line, Greg, which you pointed out before. He has, to, he has to try to nail Michael, step to the side and catch Michael reaching. Good punch to the body and then up to the top from Johnson and another good scoring blow from Bonzel. Best combination for the fight here in the fifth round. Now he's backing up Spinks. Two, five, one, two's in a row. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Get them, get them look at Mike. Mike has very good defense. Yes, he does. He keeps those elbows in, keeps those hands good and high. That's what these young fighters should look for. Watch those elbows. Good right hand from Johnson. Overhand right just fell a little short from the champion Spinks. Tries it again. And Johnson up. Under a minute to go, round five. Rally by Johnson has brought Michael back a little bit. Warning for his elbow. of the fifth round. Round number six on the 
Playboy Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City, the champion Michael Spinks in the left of your screen, the challenger Von Zell Johnson coming off his best round thus far in round number five. And it will be interesting, gentlemen, to see if he can uh, keep a little momentum going. Well, Angela instructed Von Zell to back up Mike Spinks. And the reason he tells him to back a guy up is because if a guy's used to going straight ahead, it's curious to see what's going to happen when he backs away. And it's Spinks backing up Johnson in this exchange. Just landed a good right to the head of Johnson. Spinks coming on like a tiger now. Well, we know Spinks can punch, and he's hit Johnson with some shots, and he's still there. Well, Matthew Saad Muhammad hit Johnson with a lot of shots, and he had to go 11 rounds before he finally stopped him. Good right hand from Johnson. Seem to, it doesn't seem to affect Spinks, though, Tim. Somehow or other, he just doesn't seem to be able to move Spinks when he hits him. Johnson's a cool cat. He just he just tapped Spinks on the rear end and said, let's break. Well, they have so much mutual respect because these guys, they've seen each other grow up in the amateurs and also as, as professional fighters and champions. Hey, okay, I remember you telling us about fighting Geraldo, Marcus Geraldo, who was over the weight for you. And it got a little discouraging not seeing him get hurt with all the leather you're throwing. Must be a little discouraging for Vonzell Johnson here. Well, I know they're the same weight. Vonzell has been throwing a lot of punches and... He has some gained respect for Michael Spinks. Spinks is a tough guy. He's a tough champion. More blood from the cut. The corner of the left eye of Johnson. Under a minute to go in round number six. Yeah, the cut is in the corner of the eye, Tim, and the blood could very well go into the eye. Uh, Angelo's going to have to do a job on that eye between rounds. There's well, a close look at the damage, Ray. A cut or a swelling of, of any eye, is, it creates a psychological effect on the fighter because my eye was swollen, and I thought about it. You know, if you give it a second thought... You just don't know sometimes. Less than 30 seconds to go. Another warning to Spinks from Larry Hazard, the referee. Good right hand from Johnson. Johnson now physically pushing Spinks back, trying to tee off that way. Coming to the end of round number six. Round number seven, Tim Ryan with Sugar Ray Leonard and Gil Clancy, live from Atlantic City here on CBS Sports Saturday. More championship boxing next week. Aaron Pryor defends his junior welterweight title against Duan Johnson. And then the following week, the brilliant Alexis Arguello, the WBC lightweight champion, defending against tough Roberto Elizondo. And then on December 5th, Jerry Cooney against Joe Buckner. And of course, a lot of interest in that following last night's surprising fight between Ronaldo Snipes and Larry Holmes. Where you were talking about the psychological effect when you get a cut eye. But not only does it discourage the guy whose eye is cut, but it gives the other guy a lot more adrenaline. Because he, he, he sees that he cut the guy. Gives him more confidence. That's true, Gil. God, when I said I got cut or injured or hurt, I gained momentum and gained more confidence. seriously hurt that this fight wasn't stopped, in my opinion. Larry Hazard was very quick to jump in as soon as Michael, you look, it looked to me, Ray, like Michael realized that he was all done, almost reluctantly hit him because he was looking right at Vonzell Johnson and almost reluctantly threw that left hand. Oh, it was so obvious. 
Tim, to, to Larry Hazard's credit, he did let Johnson get up, and then he took a look at him. And then when he saw that he couldn't control himself, that's when he stopped the fight. He didn't stop him when he was on the deck. Good job by referee Larry Hazard, as uh, we saw last week in the Shauna Brady fight as well. And the champion, Michael Spinks, uh, looking fresh and happy and confident, has made his first title defense a successful one. A seventh round KO of Bonzel Johnson. And Michael Spinks... Uh, showing uh, stamina, showing the ability to take a punch, and certainly showing that he can throw them. Let's see the replay again. I'm going to leave you, gentlemen, and head up to the ring. All right, here, here's, here, there was a total war, and there was that right hand. Left hook underneath, right hand on the chin. Ray, you had mentioned he had to throw to the body to bring his hands down. That's just what he did. Well, Gil, Mike worked the body often, and as we see at another angle, Michael knew he felt confident. He worked yes. the body overhand right one minute 13 seconds of the seventh round the winner by a tko and still the wba light heavyweight champion michael spinks spinks yeah you know you know uh, ray i thought angelo was a little upset because he thought larry hasn't stopped the fight too soon but in this particular case when Von Zell got up in my opinion he was helpless what, what was your opinion on that well I thought Von Zell was hurt seriously uh, although I gave him an opportunity to see whether or not he could continue and at that point there he sort of was yes he just couldn't I tell you it was a war while it lasted I mean they both landed bombs but somehow no matter what Von Zell hit Michael with it just didn't seem to bother him didn't stop him or didn't slow him down and he got hit with some good shots Von Zell threw a lot of punches a lot of good clean punch but they were not as effective as Michael Spinks punches that's, that Michael Michael does have that punching power, which we had mentioned earlier. You know, we were mentioning that Bonzo wasn't moving him and wasn't hurting Spinks, but I sure as heck wouldn't want to get hit with those punches that Johnson was throwing today. Why Spinks didn't get moved, I don't know, because this kid was really snapping those punches in there and hitting them with good combinations. Well, the more Michael Spinks fights, the better he looks. Okay, now we're up to Timmy Ryan in the ring. All right, Gil, we've got the champion Michael Spinks here with a, I knew it. A, another impressive performance. He said, I knew it. Did you know it would end like that, Mike? No, I didn't know it would end like that. I figured it was going to end uh, just like that, but, uh, I mean, didn't know what round, uh, when, when it was going to end, but I just knew it was going to end like that. You got the Spinks jinx in on him. Yes, I did. Spinks jinx, straight right hand. It hit him, and uh, I saw Von Zell never recover from it, so I wanted the ref to stop before I, you know, hit him again. Well, that's what I wondered, because after he got up, and Larry Hazard took a look at him and asked him if he was all right, you seemed to hesitate. You could see that he was done. Yeah, I saw he was still wobbling a lot, and he was getting tired, you know, so uh, cause I was hitting him with some good body shots, and the jabs, the jabs was, was very effective. Now, Michael, he landed some licks in on you, and you seemed to take him real well. Yeah, well, I found out that Von Zell wasn't the most devastating punch. He shook me up, yes. Shook me up, and uh, I just knew he was, you know, getting weary. So uh, I just knew it was uh, any matter of time. All right, you want to see yourself in action? Yeah, I would like to see right here. Let the public know that I took him out earlier than Saad Muhammad. And That's right, you did. I would like to get him. I would like to get side of the tables to, uh, you know, negotiate a little bit on making a fight. And get him unified so you can be yes, undisputed like Sugar Ray. Do. Yes, sir. All right. Just like Sugar Ray. <laughs> All right. Here's yes. the, this is the final round action here. It was a sneak one. A sneak one. Huh. Huh. That was it. I knew he was gone. I knew it was only a matter of time. Yes, I knew it was a matter of time. No, Mac, don't do that. That's how the snipe got cut. Big yes. right hand. Yes, I knew that. He's laying flat on his back. I knew it was all over. Here's another look at it from a different angle. Yes, that's it. And I'd like to say hello to all my fans all over the world. My hometown, St. Louis, I love you all for doing what you did for me. That's it. The Sphinx Jinx. And don't ever forget it. Brother blinked or wink, they missed the Sphinx Jinx. All right. Michael Spinks defending his WBA light heavyweight crown for the first time. Yes. And I know you want Matthew Saad Mohammed. Yes, Bush Lewis Next. told me he got him, so yes, we're ready to sign. Anytime. We can sign right now before I get out the ring. All right, he's got to get he's yes, got to get uh, by Dwight Brack in the court. And here's here's the WBC yeah, give me champion. Let me say this. Wait a minute, Mike. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mike. Wait a minute, Mike. Wait a minute, Mike. Let Michael, take a look Michael, at it. Hold everything. Michael, Michael Spinks, Michael Spinks did a very good job. He only beat a man that I beat already, knocked out. He only beat a man that I knocked out before. Oh, can I get you to the table? Well, your wait, people, you, your people to, come to the table. Right. We're going to we unify the table. We're going to the table. table. We're going to the table. We're going to the table. All right. Well, Promoter Butch Lewis, you can see, wants to match him up. Congratulations, Michael Spinks. Let's go back to New York and Brett Musk.